Well, students, hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome to part two of learning scales, which are really important to understanding where to put the fingers down. So in the last lesson, we learned C major, D major, and G major. So let's talk about each of those a second, just to recap. So C major has no sharps. So if you see a song that doesn't have any of those little sharp symbols in it when you're starting to read the, the music, that means it's in C major. Now, if you see one sharp in the key signature, that means that it's in G major, and that's the one that has two high twos and two low twos. So it's got both. And then D major, if there's two sharps in the key signature, that means that your twos are gonna be in high position, like that. Very good, so um, those are what we call sharp scales. So they either have uh, one sharp, two sharps, or no sharps. Now let's talk a little bit about flat scales, which will compose a lot of different music out there. So if you see one flat in the key signature, a flat sign looks like a little B. That means it's in the key of F major. So let's learn how to play the F major scale. So the first note is F natural, low two. You have your, G, uh, your tuner nearby, then G. Open A. Now here we have our first flat. So flats are basically notes that are brought down in pitch. So this is a B natural. This is a B flat. So do you see where that is? It's not in this position, it's in this position. So this is a B flat. So sharps bring notes up in pitch. Flats bring notes down in pitch. Okay, so the F major scale has one flat, which is always B flat. So F, G, A, B flat. Make sure that's matching on your tuner. And actually, you know what, it's going to actually say not B flat, but it might say A sharp. It's the same exact thing. So A sharp and B flat are the exact same pitch. Okay, and then C natural is the next note. So now before when we played the, the uh, C major scale, remember that these were touching, but now because we have a B flat, they're actually what we call whole steps. But it's still in the same spot, that C natural. And then D. So notice they're all the same width apart. B flat, C natural, D. Next note, open E, and then here, this is an F natural. Now what's kind of tricky is a lot of people say, well, isn't that a flat? This particular spot on the violin is not necessarily flat, because this is actually an exception. This is F natural, not F flat. There's actually no such thing as F flat. F flat is actually an E. So if that's confusing to you, uh, if you look at a piano, do you notice that there's gaps in the piano as far as the black keys? That's exactly what we're talking about here. There's no such thing as that particular flat. Don't think too much into this because it's kind of confusing. But just know that this particular spot is an F natural, not an F sharp. But it's not F flat, okay? So all these other spots, this is A flat. This is E flat, this is B flat, but this is F natural, different, okay? But in the F major scale, that's exactly where the F goes, okay? So let's play the F major scale. So we're going to have low one on the A string, low one on the E string. One technique tip when you're playing these B flats, when you're playing these low ones, make sure that your finger looks like that. Very, very common bad habit is students have their finger far apart from the from the fingerboard instead of being close. It's especially hard to do on the E string. So this is the finger I'm talking about. So don't have it out like this. Have it tucked. 
that's going to help you find other notes easily because we don't want this motion back and forth finding the four and the low one we want to just be able to squeeze back and then lay the four out very good so that's the f major scale now if we add in another flat to the key signature so you see two of those b symbols in the key signature that's the key of b flat major not b major but b flat major so in B flat major, it's always the same two flats. It's always B flat and E flat. Okay? So we just learned B flat, right? Low one on the D string is E flat. So now we're going to lower that one. So this is E natural. This is E flat. Okay? Now on the G string, when we played the G major scale, we had high two on the G, right? Okay, this is a B natural. With B flat major, we're going to lower that B from B natural to B flat. And that's actually the first note of the scale, B flat major. This is probably going to be the hardest scale out of all of the ones we've done so far. B flat, C, D natural, E flat. F natural. Remember, kind of like the last scale, the F major scale, these are all going to be whole steps on the D string now. G. Open A. B flat. That's the first octave. Now the second octave is kind of tricky, so really pay attention here. So we have B flat. C. D. Now, don't make the mistake to play the next string open E, the next note open E. It's actually going to be what we call a low 4. So this is an E, right? This is an E flat. So this is the position of the fingers in B flat major on the A string. B flat, C natural, D, E flat. Okay? Now, do you see this exact finger position? It's going to be the same thing on the E string. F natural, G, A, B flat. Tricky. So not here, B flat here. So just really pay attention to those spots of the fingers. And that's, this is where your stickers are really going to come in handy because knowing exactly where to put those fingers is really important. All right, let's play the B flat major scale. Very good. So now you know the key of F major, you know the key of B flat major, <clears throat> which are the two uh, basic first flat scales that you learn. Very good. So now that you know the some of the basic sharp scales, you know some of the basic flat scales, in the next lesson we're actually going to be talking about arpeggios, um, how they relate to the scales. So work really hard on these as it's so important to put your fingers in the right spots. It makes a huge difference in the songs. And please, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, support at violintutorpro.com. I'll answer your question as soon as I can. I love helping you guys out. And I definitely want you guys to sound great in tune and play songs and enjoy it. So have a great day, and we'll see you in the next lesson.